Uh, just a quick intro, uh, which I hadn't bothered with before, but I've got a few clips here of some messing around trying to get a whole circle tested. So there'll be a bit of repetition, I think, when I put the clips together. I'm trying to just uh, initially consider how I could use the back plate that I'd got specially, but decided no, it's <laughs> it's too too lacking in diameter. Uh, I have found another and once that arrives I think I can crack on and get things moving because uh, I want to get this right. Anyway, uh, you'll see, see the whole circle worked out alright or close enough anyway to confirm that the math was right for the job. Um, so anyway, so apologies for repetition here and there. I'll just put this together as a, uh, an example of a quick test very difficult to get much more travel on the uh, little mill to manage it, but I can, so I know I can do the cast iron when I get it, and that I'll probably clamp down on some uh, sacrificial material, get it absolutely rock solid, and do it carefully. Alright, anyway, here we go. Um, I'd love to get on with something more substantial soon. See ya. Anyway, by sheer chance, with a lot of measuring and checking, uh, these three holes, apart from being a bit small, because these are M10s for here, and that's, uh, oh, three-eighths probably, and that's rather useful. I shall make another check, but I intend to do uh, a test on a hole circle before I do the back plate. Uh, to do a test, I've dug around amongst my mandrels, found this one, and found a spacer piece to take this uh, disc of acrylic. I got that done up. It's seven inch at the moment, so it's a bit big. So I'm going to try. It's not uh, running perfectly this way, which doesn't matter too much at the moment. So I'm going to turn that down to nominally six inch probably just over and I'm going to keep that in the uh, fixed as it is and when I've got it down to diameter uh, this part here with the spacer taken off you can't tell it's a spacer but it is uh, this section will fit nicely in a three jaw um, which I can sit on the milling table and uh, get set up on centre, oh, sorry about that, and, and then use uh, a hole pattern. I've already got the uh, figures for the hole pattern. That's one of the uh, spare chucks, pretty old, four inch. Um, but that mandrel will go in such that when the jaws are tightened up, the um, circle will just sit on there. Obviously it'll flex a bit when it's being drilled but I'm not worried. I'm just going to do it as a test for the uh, hole pattern. I'm still not totally happy with this back plate. Uh, by the time these holes are enlarged, assuming I use them, but it'll be the same difference anyway. More holes in here, they're going to be so close to the edge. I've actually had a quick look on eBay and found what I, I checked on it. It's supposedly 6.28 diameter, six and a quarter, which would match the chuck. Uh, it has, I think, inch and three quarter ID. I'll still have to put in a sleeve of some sort, but I'm going to wait for that. It should be better. In the meantime, uh, I've just worked out my uh, whole circle setup, and I'm just setting up on here with a piece of uh, this piece of acrylic. Uh, I've turned that down to I don't know nominal six, just as so I've got a usable disc. Uh, I've just been setting that up with a lot of juggling. 
so I can get enough travel on the Y so I can go 2.5 one way no 2.75 bit of a job setting it up <laughs> bit short of travel I'm actually going to use a nice stiff stub drill which is slightly bigger than I need but I'm not going to drill any spot holes I'm going to go straight through with the stub which should prevent grabbing because drilling this stuff is not fun with a regular grind on the drill so we'll try it and see and uh, if that works out I know I can repeat it on here with um, with the back plate I intend to use uh, well this wasn't the friendliest material but it was just a means to check and see if the uh, whole pattern would work out. I had to pack this and clamp it because the center fixing here wasn't guaranteeing that it wouldn't rotate. Pretty nasty making those holes but you can see in fact the center, sorry, the center hole that I had wasn't uh, a really tight fit on this mandrel either. So the uh, slight variation, well that one broke through but you can see how close to the edge they are. I'm going to try it on the chuck, see if it's uh, any good. So we drifted off centre a bit that way. But anyway, when I do the cast iron eventually it'll be uh, very critically centred up. So the whole pattern's okay, that's reassuring. Now this uh, back plate, I don't think we're going to use because the these holes which have slightly generous clearance you see you see how close to the edge no good need another eighth next to that so I have with a bit of judicious hunting found another back plate it's uh, 6.28 I think I may have mentioned I can't remember and I think the bore is uh, one and three quarters, so I shall still have to sleeve it, but uh, I think it'll work out, and the diameter is more what I want. So there you are, only a quickie, just messing around with holes. <laughs> I've certainly got to get the, uh, I've certainly got to get things more accurately centered. You can see that difference around the outside. Well, actually, it depends what angle you're at. Let me spin this round. It depends what angle you're at. Yeah, there is, but there is a slight discrepancy. And I say that centre hole went a bit oversized. All right. See you soon. Thanks for watching.